Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Bike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We were on April 17th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Hope you're all doing well. Much love to you, and thank you for joining the Daily Dew. We always look at space weather, world weather, and disaster alerts from around the world. Looking here at our sun, at our heliosphere being affected after those two CMEs ejected from our sun. Observing a small and diminishing coronal hole, Earth facing. Expecting that wind, wind stream soon as our solar winds have diminished and are on a downcline. Not many plasma filaments to look at or observe, but there's definitely a lot happening on the backside of the sun right now. Looking here at the latest Alaska 2 image. Nothing much to report there after the CME yesterday. And again, thank you for everybody for liking my videos and sharing if you can. I really appreciate all of it. Looking here at our real-time solar wind as we are down to 300 kilometers per second. Looking quickly at our magnetosphere as well. This is the last three hours, no, sorry, the last four hours of images. Definitely calm in our magnetosphere. But for earthquakes, that's another thing. Uh, it's been the last, been busy the last 24 hours. Uh, definitely even in the warned region of Alaska, Cascades, which I was talking about yesterday, 5.3 here in Alaska. And a lot of movement moving westward into Kamchatka. 4.4 there, Keurig Islands. And as well, Seismopochnoi volcano. So a lot of volcanoes erupting along the Alaskan Peninsula and Kamchatka. Deepest earthquakes last 24 hours, 513 kilometer depth here. And just recently, a 5.7 in the mid-Indian Ridge, out in the middle of the Indian Ocean. No tsunami alert with that. Also observing some North Pole earthquakes, 5.0 here in the Wreck Janes Ridge. And as well, moving north into Greenland, 4.3 there. It's a very interesting plate movement across the North American and as well, Indian plate, 5.7 there. Haven't seen a sizable earthquake like that in the region for a while. Also watching the small increase in California today. And earthquake swarm continuing in Idaho. In Idaho. Minor earthquakes, but still. South America rocking a couple pretty deep earthquakes today as well. 4.2, 111 kilometer depth in Peru, and a 4.4 there in Chile. I'll have a quick look here at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world, and you can see a lot of elevated rings, so that's a lot of deep earthquakes recently. Stay aware and prepared. Cascadia fault line, we're expecting the big one, you know we are. As well. The Atlantic Plate, so a lot of movement, tectonic plates, Atlantic, Indian Ridge, and as well, North American Plate. Things are ramping up. Let's get to the disaster alerts here from the Pacific Disaster Center. You can always download this app yourself. Stay even more aware or prepared. Looking here at the most recent volcanoes being updated, Dakono, Indonesia, Krakatoa in Indonesia, Sabinkaya in Peru, Kulchevskoy in Russia, in Russia, Asosan in Japan, Popo in Mexico, and Kushinirebojima, and as well Sangay. So that's about eight volcanoes getting updated today. A couple of them newer. I'm going to be watching this region here as a large low pressure system is inundating the Aleutian Islands. 
or Alaskan Peninsula. I, I don't know why I always mix those up. <laughs> also watching extreme weather getting ready to move in across the United States. Overlooking Europe, that large low pressure system, the Mediterranean, bringing moisture. Things really heating up in Africa, watching some huge pop-up storms, West Coast Africa. And as well, watching a lot of moisture developing Southeast Asia. And particularly, this low pressure system moving in from the Pacific. You can see it just kind of whipped into the coastline of California. And we'll be doing the same thing as the low pressure system did last week as it penetrated through the Mexico border, California. It's going to whip across there and then feed into that Gulf moisture and extreme weather across southeastern United States. Let's look at the last five day, or let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Media Earth, Media Mike, overlooking home base, Calgary, Alberta, northwestern America. Things are starting to warm up later in the forecast, though. Some really nice temperatures, plus 19 degrees possible, but we're going to see a little bit of snow beforehand. Cooler temperatures across eastern Canada. But yeah, watch as the five day forecast up into Tuesday, Wednesday, 18, 19 degrees Celsius. Very nice. Yes, very nice. And then watch as this low pressure system affects southeastern United States and the seaboard, eastern seaboard, and then up into Canada. And here is the low I was talking about from the Pacific later in the forecast. Tuesday into Wednesday will be affecting southeastern states and eastern seaboard. As a sneaky little low moves across the Mexico border into the Gulf right here, watching the forecast, that will be an intense event. Overlooking Europe, low pressure system affecting Spain and the Mediterranean throughout the week. But a high pressure ridge that's been locked in there for a while, keeping things dry and warm across most of Europe and into Western Russia. Parts of Eastern Russia still dealing with winter storms. And some intense low pressure systems coming off of China here in the five day forecast heading into Japan and northeastward. Still observing the same low pressure system for the next five days spinning around in the Pacific Ocean. Then another one developing later in the week. Overlooking Australia, pretty seasonable. But unseasonable will be cool southeastern regions, United States. As cold low moves in from the the, Ar the Antarctic, you can see there. There's about three, four low pressure systems spinning just south of Australia. Will bring some cool temperatures indeed. Overlooking the Indian Ocean, as there was a cyclone developing, it has since dissipated. But we're going to be watching this fire up throughout the week. Possible low inundating eastern Africa into Mozambique later in the week. But still, uh, daily evaporation rains to continue here for the next few days. More intense west coast and east coast, the coastlines of both Africa. Overlooking South America. Heavier rains throughout Panama into Colombia and as well Venezuela, Brazil. A lot of moisture moving in there. Atmospheric river just keeps flowing through there. Thoughts and prayers to everybody there. Thoughts and prayers to everybody worldwide. And again, I want to thank everybody for joining Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Over 10,000 members strong and counting. So please share with your friends and family. A lot of great things coming to this channel. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.